Winter 2021. Wow, is there ever a lot of cool LEGO sets coming out. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at all of those LEGO sets. I'm also gonna be showing you a neat trick on the LEGO website so that you can find them as well. So of course you wanna to go to lego.com. Once you're on lego.com, you wanna hover over shop by, have new selected, and go to the right there where it says see all and click on see all. Once that page loads, you're gonna scroll down to the bottom and you'll see these selection bars on the left hand side and you'll see availability. Click on availability and say coming soon. Tick that little box there, it's gonna load. Now this page here is gonna show you all of the sets that are coming out in the future. In particular, most of these ones here are coming out on January 1st here in 2021. Now right here I have them classically sorted by featured. I'm gonna click price high to low. That's what I call the classic Brixie sort. And we can see the new uh, police station that's gonna be coming out. That's the new modular building. Um, obviously we're all really excited for that. I had a look at that in one of my previous videos. Same with the new Ferrari uh, Technic car. That looks pretty awesome as well. This looks pretty cool. This is an off-road buggy. Is that, that must be like an RC car of some sort. It's $180 here in Canada. As we browse, keep in mind that all of these prices are uh, in Canadian dollars. Also, we have a Mickey and Minnie uh, art coming out. It's Disney art. Uh, you can actually connect the two so that it builds uh, Mickey and Minnie and they're sort of gazing at one another there. So there's the Mickey art for it and there's the Minnie. And you'll see that they can actually connect and be put together, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is that uh, Technic off-road buggy, definitely an RC car, I'm pretty sure. You can see on the package here, it does say control, and you can control it by your smartphone. Probably not going to get that. I got the Extreme off-roader uh, that came out a few years ago. Honestly, like it's really cool the way that they go together. The motors get them to move and everything like that, but if you want to get an RC car, just buy an RC car, in, in my opinion. I, I like the way the LEGO ones operate, but... I think you should just get an RC car. This is called Town Center. So this is actually pretty interesting. This features the new uh, road plates. Got a car wash there, little pizza shop. Not really a big cohesive set that I'd be looking for, but if you're looking to build a little Lego city, or maybe you could add on to this set and create a larger modular scene in a Lego city. Comes with a couple cool vehicles as well. So as you saw here on the left side, it says there's 106 pieces coming soon. So we're not obviously gonna have a look at all of them today. That's just a bit too much. We'll have a look at a few highlighted ones here. Uh, we arranged them price high to low. So we're they're getting less and less expensive as we go down here. Here's Zane's battle mech, pretty interesting. Also a police boat, might be good for your harbor. Here's another Technic vehicle. This is the Jeep Wrangler. I think we've had a look at all the Star Wars stuff. So I'll breeze by the Star Wars stuff, but there's the new X-Wing that's coming out there. Here's the Jeep Wrangler. I like that they're doing a Jeep. I think that's a good brand to have. It's not a huge Technic model, but you can see it's got some pretty awesome suspension on it. $69.99, 665 pieces, so it's a little bit smaller. Police boat retails for 80 bucks here in Canada. Actually looks pretty interesting. You get lots of windscreens and stuff there. It's like a double-decker police boat. I think there's a drone on the top of it as well there. Hmm. Family house, I guess this looks all right. It looks pretty basic to me. Uh, I like the street hockey that they're playing out front there. That's pretty cool. And this is, once again, those uh, sort of tile-built road plates. I don't know. It's pretty basic, but you could get a bunch of these and make a large modular building. That's what I would look into them for. Looks like there's like a Chinese-style set coming out. That dragon looks pretty interesting. Wow. I also like these big fireworks that are depicted above the building there. Hey, Surfer Beach House. That might look pretty neat on a, uh, on a beach. Some Ninjago stuff. Some more Star Wars stuff. And also there's a bunch of new Mario stuff coming out as well uh, here in 2021. Airshow Jet Transporter. Here's the new Mario set. This is the Wiggler's Poison Swamp expansion set. Honestly, I'm not gonna get any more Mario stuff. I got the starter course, it interacts with my NES, but I think that's where I'm gonna leave it for now. Here's that uh, Airshow Jet Transport. If you're looking to get some planes maybe. I actually really like the look of this Creator uh, Beach Hut. This would look really good on a beach. Wow. I like how it's two stories. Very cool. Also some really interesting building techniques used in that. Look at these turtles too. Brick built turtles. <laughs> Never seen that before. That's neat. You got all the Harry Potter books coming out as well. So Herbology, Charms, Transfiguration, and Potions. They're like textbooks that open up and you have a little scene inside. They also come with some great minifigures. I honestly don't know if I'm gonna get these. I don't think I am, honestly. 40 bucks, uh, 241 pieces. Some good minifigures, but 
I honestly don't think I'm going to get these. So it's not so different to Ninjago stuff. Once again, something I don't really touch on. Pretty cool looking dragon here though. Uh, police prisoner transport. Uh, this is a Lego City one. Another police vehicle, prisoner transport. That's a pretty neat looking bike there in black. Sticker element though, guaranteed that's a sticker element. Nothing new there. Um, I don't know, I'm not overly amused by any of that there. And there's also another Mario expansion pack. This is the Piranha Plant uh, Puzzling Challenge. Hmm. If you're into Mario, I mean, you could build a pretty cool Mario scene. Here's another uh, holiday camper van. This family has grown up over the years. <laughs> You'll notice that these minifigures were actually uh, depicted in previous camper vans. It's funny how Lego did that. Also, we have the uh, Monster Jam. Uh, Technic sets coming out as well. So we got this one here, uh, which is the Max D, and then also Gravedigger, which is probably the most iconic monster truck. Where's Monster Mutt? We need Monster Mutt. <laughs> oh man, I really want to go to uh, a big monster jam in the US. I've never been to a big one in the US, only a small one here in my hometown, Edmonton. Also, we got a nice off road buggy here, and also a transporter for that off road buggy, and then a race car and also a transporter for those race cars as well, which is a part of the creator set. It's pretty nice actually. This is definitely a great way to browse the LEGO website so that you can see everything new that's coming out. Looks like we got a super bike here. Oh, that's interesting. Spider-Man, Ghost Rider versus Carnage. Looks like you got a hot rod. We'll take a look at that. I also really like the look of this uh, LEGO City tractor here. Uh, yeah, I would definitely get this one just for the minifigures because you get Spider-Man, Ghost Rider, and also Carnage. And this tractor looks pretty interesting as well, $25. I don't have any tractors, but if you're looking to make like a farm or if you're just looking to build something different, this definitely would be worth it. That's pretty awesome actually, a big big tractor. Uh, 148 pieces, $25 here in Canada. All sorts of different dot stuff as well. Hey, what's this, a wild lion? That's interesting. And some roses, built, uh, built roses, that's neat. Also a Captain America mech. Wild lion. Look at this. <laughs> oh, definitely not my, up my alley. I, I won't be getting it. I'm sure it's interesting. Maybe I'll have to get the wife these for, for Valentine's Day or something like that. Here, honey, I got you some flowers. <laughs> and the Captain America mech. I don't know. That shield looks pretty cool. But I'm not overly interested in these mechs. They make a lot of them. Superheroes and stuff like that. Here's another mech of Miles Morales. Of course, you got the Micro Fighter Millennium Falcon with the Han Solo minifigure. I actually like these these sports cars that are coming out. Uh, regular Lego City stuff. I actually thought there was a couple of them, but this is the sports car in blue, $13.99. Uh, it'd be a great, great way to add an interesting looking vehicle to your Lego City. So I actually like the look of this one. I'll probably be picking this up just to add it to the city. It's a nice looking convertible sports car with the uh, roof that can pop off there, I guess. And uh, Han Solo Micro Fighter, of course, we'll be picking that up as well. Here's a closer look at that uh, Miles Morales mech. All sorts of dot stuff. Also, there's uh, character packs coming out for uh, Super Mario. This is uh, pack number two. I personally didn't get any of these, uh, but they look pretty interesting. You know, they would be a fun little build and a nice little display that you could build out of them as well. And Minifig Series 21 also comes out, and we've got some interesting looking minifigs in this series here. I really like the Castaway or Beach Bum. So that's the first glance at the stuff coming out here in winter of 2021. I strongly encourage you guys to check out the LEGO website and use that uh, feature there where you can check out future releases coming out. It's pretty neat. You just uh, narrow it down by availability and then you can scroll through it all. Obviously, we only talked about a few. I encourage you to come check out the LEGO website where you can see all this stuff here. And you can also have a closer, more detailed look at all this stuff on Brickset.com. This stuff should all be on there as well. Uh, in particular, I really like the look of these uh, monster trucks. That's pretty interesting. Also, the holiday camper van, uh, that sports car that we passed by uh, a few rows back there. I'm not sure if I'm going to get the Harry Potter books or not. Definitely won't be adding any more of the Super Mario stuff. Hey, there's a skate park. We breezed by that. 50 bucks here in Canada. You get like a, a vehicle there, a bike, and a couple ramps. Also, there's the, the wheelchair uh, there with the neon wheels that looks pretty interesting and, and a, a palm tree as well that might be cool if you wanted to add like a little skate park to your lego city or learn how to build things that might go into a skate park of course i'm all excited for the new star wars stuff coming out there's the micro fighter uh, millennium falcon also the tie fighter and the x-wing and i like this technic stuff as well the mclaren we had a look at some of this stuff earlier in one of my videos the thing that i'm most hyped for and the most excited for 
of course, is the Mickey and Minnie art and the police modular building. And I guess this Ferrari uh, Technic set as well. That's going to be pretty awesome. Although it does look like there's a lot of stickers on these Technic sets coming out. Um, but I'm really hyped for the new modular building that's coming out on New Year's Day. That's going to be absolutely awesome. I love how it's actually a bigger uh, style modular building. I watched a video here on YouTube where it showed that it was potentially larger than some of the other ones. And of course it comes with that donut shop. So I just wanted to show you guys how to browse the Lego website and see what's coming out in the future and give you my thoughts on some of the sets that are coming out. Um, just a basic browse video today. I hope you guys like it. Remember to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff coming out in the near future. Thanks a lot for watching and bye for now.